Hello all you lovely people and welcome back. Today I am working in Rooms of Wonder and I've decided to go back in with a little magical objects page and we're going to be doing the little cauldron down in the bottom left corner. So I'm going to be using my Fabric Style Polychromos today. I'm also going to be using my Albrecht Dura, but that will be off camera because I've already shown you before how to do this background. It's going to be the top one. So you can always go back and watch that video. It's the first one in this series. And you can also go and watch Black and Eerie because she was the one that inspired that background. So definitely go and check her out as well. So I'm going to just start out now by mapping out some lighter areas on my flames. I've decided to go with actually blue flames, but I want to put in a little bit of cream tones in here as well. So hopefully the blue flames will turn out okay. So I decided to add in a little bit of the light thylo green just in the flames here. We went, when I was away on holidays, we went and saw Sleeping Beauty at the ballet and for some reason that's just made me think of the original um, cartoon Disney Sleeping Beauty where they had these sort of, Maleficent has these green flames and I thought I'll just bring in a little bit of green in these. This is like how my crazy brain works. It just things of these random things and then I just have to incorporate them so yeah that's my thought process behind bringing in green in these flames I happen to go to the ballet makes no sense whatsoever but there you go Thank you. 
so I'm just going to use some of the colors that I'm going to be bringing in for the background so going in these sort of greenish bluish kind of turquoisey kind of tones and by the way actually someone asked me after my last little mini which wasn't from this page but it was the vintage hairbrush set where all my uh, polychrom no not polychromos where all my um, posca pens and the sakura jelly rolls uh, had disappeared to don't worry i'm going to bring them out again today they were just hiding down the bottom of my bag after the last time and i just couldn't be bothered trying to hunt them down for that video <laughs> so i left them out you can absolutely if you're coloring that one bring out your white little pens to erase some black outlines Now, if you are following along with me today and you want a list of all the pencil colors that I'm using, I will list them all in the description box below. Now, I, I did forget to mention at the start that in addition to my polychromos and my Albrechtura pencils, I'm also adding in a little bit of my dough and drawing Chinese white just for blending as well. It's not absolutely necessary, but I just thought I'd mention that I am bringing that one out as well.
so I want to start mapping out some shadows here so I'm actually going to go straight in now with my dark indigo and I'm just starting to add that around the edges and working my way a little bit in towards the center not going too far I can always add more later on I just wanted to go in and just start getting some of that dark color in there just so I don't have to push so hard later on but we're going to blend this in with some other colors as well so it's going to look really nice hopefully in the end and we're going to get that illusion of this cauldron being nice and round
so now that I've got most of my colors down I'm just gonna go in with my violet I'm just sort of starting to blend this together a little bit more to get a nice gradient and then I'll probably go in with my I think my Durban drawing first possibly might add some light magenta in there too I'm not 100% sure yet but it might look nice should I put some I'm wondering if I should put some of those turquoise to tones in there too maybe I did that up on the on some of those candles and stuff a couple of rows further up and it did look really nice with, the, with those combinations so let's see what we do Alright, I've decided to add in some of that light magenta in here and then I'm gonna add in some one of the cobalts I think maybe the cobalt green so now that I got that Derwent drawing down it gives me a really nice surface to add some of these lighter colors onto and I still have those other colors shining through a little bit so I do I do like how that Derwent drawing kind of blends everything together and allows me to do a little bit it kind of makes my polychromos act a little bit more like prisma colors so i'm kind of getting the best of both worlds by just by adding that one derwent pencil into there so we'll do the cobalt turquoise i think and i'm just going to add a little bit sort of probably closer down the bottom here to where my flames are i don't think i'll go all the way up the top with this i just want like a little bit around here so let's see if this yeah it works all right just a little bit. So I'm just going to add a little bit of cream to this one. I have a feeling I'll probably end up going over it with a white pen later on anyway, but we'll see. So for these little bubbles up the top, I'm going in light. So I'm going to put in the light, bit of light magenta. I'm thinking also some light cobalt turquoise in there. Kind of a bit like, you know, like sunset clouds, like those sort of pastel-y kind of colors. And I might add a little bit of salmon in there as well a bit later, just to sort of darken things up. I'll see when I sort of finish everything see if I need to add some more so this is the light cobalt turquoise sorry both my light magenta and this one here are pretty much you can't see the the name of the pencil anymore it's they're well used but I think it's going to look quite nice they do blend together really nicely these colors and they kind of make that little bit of a sort of magic-y kind of colors on these little bubbles
All right, it is Sakura Jelly Roll time. I'm going in first with my Ciro 5 just to sort of get some of these outlines. I've brought out my Ciro 8 as well as so I think I might need it. I'll definitely need it for the background later because I will add in, like I've done on all the other backgrounds uh, further up on this page, I've added lots of little white dots and stuff like that. So I'll do that on this one as well. But right now I'm just sort of erasing some of these black outlines and softening everything up. And as I mentioned, I will add the rest of the background and everything like that off camera later because I've already shown you all of that and I'm doing it pretty much exactly the same. So at the moment I'm just going to kind of add a little bit of finishing touches here and there wherever I kind of see that I need a little bit. So here I'm just trying to kind of make a distinction between each flame just so they're all not sort of one big flame if that makes sense. They're all sort of individual little, little flames that's coming up there so I'm just trying to add in a little bit of Sort of different colors where I put, especially where I put all that white down. So just making sure that we can differentiate between each little flame here. And I'm thinking I'll add some more like thicker white areas. I think I'm gonna need it. I don't like how these flames are looking up the very top there. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna go and get my 08 here. And I'm just going to add some little bit sort of thicker white highlights sort of here and there. And I'll add, yeah, I'm going to go over these little top ones here and I'll add a bit more, a bit more white.
So I'm just going to put a little bit of cream on these little stars up the top. I'm not quite sure why I'm doing this. Oh, I just wanted to and I'll probably end up putting white on top of them anyway later on. <laughs> Alright, so I'm done with the colouring here now. I'm going to just show you quickly that top. So I want to, on the background here, I'm going to go ahead and do what I've done here. So either you can go back, I will link the video above in the corner there. So you can click on that link if you want to follow follow that one or you can just look at the different colors that we've got there and you can just try to imitate it. So this is what we're up to and I'm going to attach a photo now of the finished product. So this is how it is now after I added on the background and I'm super happy. It looks lovely and hopefully you like it too. So here are another couple of videos that you might want to check out. I thank you guys so much for watching and possibly following along with me today. I wish you all a colorful day and I will see you again next time.